thanks to their special way of expressing their folklore through music. The Zulu have made the bagpipe known throughout the country since the 1960s, not only as a crucial expression of the regional cultural identity of their state and the capital, Maracaibo, but also as the centerpiece of every December festival. Like other Latin American genres, the history of the bagpipe in Zulia began as a dynamic fusion of European, African and indigenous instruments and melodies, especially those around the Lake Maracaibo Basin in the central state of Zulia in Venezuela since colonial times. The bagpipe is one of the most important parts of Venezuela's musical heritage, because for decades it represented two very different elements Zulian culture in general and the national holiday of Christmas and New Year. Therefore, since the 19th century, the themes of most bagpipe songs have revolved around family, friendship, or even the functioning of society, but with a special emphasis on Our Lady of Chikukira, also known as La Chimita, the patroness of Zulia, who is unusually revered, naturally, a choir consisting of orchestra members and other singers is essential to any good bagpipe. However, modern bagpipes can add other accompanying elements, such as an electric bass, synthesizer, or flute. Sometimes Zulano's political and social identity and his frustration with the political situation in Venezuela manifested through the bagpipes. I'm a culture and language nerd and a great foodie. I can't wait to share with you all my language and culture and why not? Some recipes for our traditional dishes. Develop your vocabulary, practice your pronunciation and more with transparent language online. The Vita Landscape is home to several authors and composers who have become synonymous with the genre itself. 2021 Transparent Language, Inc.